Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, I'm gonna tell you about a little, it's a mod slash secret of the XK8. And that's connected with drinks. Some of you know where this is headed. <laughs> so the XK8, XKR, X100 series was available with a drinks holder, cup holder. And this is incorporated into the front leading edge of the armrest and there are a couple of issues with that cup holder and not everybody has it if you don't have it already you can change the armrest you can generally buy off ebay places like that um, second hand armrests and i believe some people are remanufacturing the armrests now but they tend to be very expensive and when you get one you might be a little underwhelmed in terms of function they'll look nice but um, as a cup holder, not brilliant. So what is the situation? On the standard car, there is no cup holder. If you've specified it as an optional extra or you have a higher spec car, you may have a cup holder and it will be built into this front edge of the armrest. And it flips forward and essentially it allows the base of its um, design to sit just above this ashtray here. So your cup holder is there. Now, let's look at a few ergonomics things. First thing to mention is this was a design that was made for the sister car, the X308. So the ergonomics are far better in that. But we're in our XK8. I put my cup in my cup holder, which is there. I can no longer easily get to the gear shift. Um, if I have a shallower cup, it's marginally easier, but the chances of knocking it are very high. The mechanism is delicate, and by nudging things like this in it, you're going to break it quite quickly. So it's in a bad position. It also kind of prevents you from using the armrest because the armrest in this car is a nice height for your elbow, shoulder, wherever you want to call it, uh, to sit on, forearm. For your forearm, it's a good height for the forearm to sit on, but it is quite a way back. So you do tend to sit with your hand forward if you've not got your hand on the wheel. So again, the cup's in the way. So if you have got a cup on this side, you now got to sit with your arm there to use the armrest. So you won't. It's as simple as that, because that's really uncomfortable. And if I'm driving and I've got something in here, you can see it's not far off getting knocked over anyway. So all in all, it's just not good. It's too high. People come up with all sorts of solutions for cup holders and each to their own, go for your own thing. I've got to admit the majority of the times, if I've got something like this and I want to uh, keep it in the car, I do that. And that's pretty effective. As long as you haven't got a passenger, obviously, I kind of jam it in between the center console and the seat. And I do have another little cup solution, cup holder solution that basically formalizes that a bit but it's not great if you've got a passenger. You can do various things that clip onto the dashboard. Please don't stick it on your vents because they're not up to the job. I wanna show you um, a little secret, if you like, that enables you to very quickly and easily incorporate a usable cup holder. Um, it is a compromise, but easy to do, cheap to do, effective as a cup holder, all the rest of it. And it's fully installed right now which is, again, for me, a huge bonus. So if I really want to have that, or more importantly, a coffee cup, maybe it's even open, where does it sit in my car? Well, in my car, I do this. This has got a good detent on it. It stays where you put it, in other words. And it goes there. And that is good. And that 
doesn't get in the way of that. And the armrest is not usable anyway. And it will stop there and there's no issues and it works. So how is this achieved? Just like that. And that's not even screwed into position. This is a standard bit of kit you can buy off the internet. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's not an expensive item. So you've got this sort of semi sprung loaded claw. And when I'm not using it, you just do that. And I've got this little shelf, but it's a little higher than the bottom of the tray. That means that the cup would be sat on that inside the claws. But now I can stuff the armrest with practically all the same things I would have done before. It's not used up much space. This thing can be installed properly. I choose not to. I'm going to pull it out for you now so you can see. There's the empty armrest. There's the gadget in question. In completely unmodified form, it's an exact fit with a little bit of a push to go in that space. So literally just a hinge open tray with a flip up top. And your, your cup is now sitting on this nice flat area with a little bit of bunding, I guess you'd call it if you're an engineer. You could screw this if you wanted to the front edge of the um, aperture which is a choice, but that's something that you can't undo. You've left holes in there and your cup will still be sitting on the flock at the bottom of the tray. And with the best will in the world, you're going to spill things or it's going to get hot and you're going to stain it up. So it's nice to have basically a coaster. The bit that actually jams uh, this into position is the width of this it's just a little bit wider than this is at this point so you can actually see a little tiny indentation there where it's just been sat that is where this pinches itself into position so unfolded drop that in you see this it's free at the front push it down until it's flush and then open out the bottom or flatten the bottom all you're doing is stretching the sides of the uh, center console molding just a touch there we go. and hey presto installed not in use in use easy neat nobody need to know if it's, you know, if it's purely a functional thing, what could be better? You've also got the option of doing that. Because the bottom will stay in place. Cheapest chips item. They are available in stainless steel. So if you wanted to make more of a blingy thing of it, um, I'm sure you'll be able to find some somewhere on the internet. It's pretty much, as I say, a generic design. Um, these claws kind of adjust you can get some of them but spring loaded I'll, I'll give you a link to this one that I've got and you can buy a pair of them for a few pounds so not going to fall over does the job and when you get where you're going chuck this away empty it out close the lid all done so that's how it looks if your armrest detent doesn't work i.e it doesn't stop up on its own then basically you just need to disassemble this take the tray out and there should be a kink in this arm that goes through a grommet you just need to increase the amount of kink in the arm it doesn't look out of place.
and I'm not really one for having too much sitting around in my car anyway. So long journey, that's a useful thing. As soon as I'm parked up, it's coming out. This will get shut. Versus essentially that position, which we all know is wrong. As I said, not really a secret, more of a mod come wow, surprising something's available off the shelf that just goes straight in. But um, I like it, and whenever anybody else sees it who's got an XK8, and I just go, oh, that's where I've got mine. They go, oh, crikey, that's easy. Um, so yeah, I think it's a little secret. Plenty more to come real soon. The weather is keeping me out of the carriage just a little bit. Plenty of stuff lined up in terms of secrets and plenty of stuff lined up in terms of things to fit as well. Um, I've got a fuel filter that I've just dug out that needs to go on here soon. So depending on uh, motivation levels and temperature levels, that'll all be going in very, very soon. Stay safe, everybody. See you soon. Bye.